Zord Rider Transformers reviews and toy related chat Zord Rider Zord Rider it's Sword Rider here and I thought I'd do a quick review for you tonight. Um, now first of all an apology um, for those of you with the keen eye uh, you will notice that I have sellotape on my glasses there and sellotape on my glasses there and that's because both arms of my glasses decided to break on me today. So I've got an expensive trip to the opticians to try and get some more glasses. So uh, you're gonna have to make do with this just so I can see the monitor um, and I'm not squinting at the camera. Um, so uh, yeah, so yesterday uh, I met up with a few friends, um, Graham and James, uh, both on Twitter, uh, I'll try and put their handles down below if you want to catch up with them. Two really good friends of mine and uh, we decided to meet up for my birthday which is actually on Tuesday. Um, so uh, we met up in Leicester and the reason for going to Leicester was there is a vintage toy shop there and we went and we had a look in there. Um, unfortunately uh, I'll stick some photos up for you so you can have a look um, while I'm talking about this um, up on full screen as well um, so basically there was some uh, sealed G1 figures um, Throttlebot, Goldbug, uh, Firefly there was some some figures that have a mint package but have been placed back in there was a there was a beachcomber and a I think there was a Warpath. There were some Micro Masters that were sealed, about 45 quid a shot. Uh, there was also some Action Masters. There was a Metroplex. There was a Blaster. There was a Preceptor, which looked in stunning condition in the box. I think that was about 160 quid. And there was some amazing stuff in there. And just, just to walk in that shop and see a clear display of, of everything Transformers, it almost makes you heart stop as a collector because what you actually do when was the last time we saw g1 sealed um packets on the shelf that you could pick up and buy uh and my friend graham actually did he, he picked up a uh, sealed g1 bumblebee a sealed gold bug and a sealed firefly um uh myself and james despite being tempted by a couple of things uh, we didn't get anything and the, the reason for that was we, we had numbers in our head of what we wanted to pay and I think they were just a little bit higher. Um, there was a couple of Energon bots I want to try and uh, pick up and uh, James rightfully said, you know what, wait until TFN, you'll probably pick them up then cheaper than 20 quid each but it was full of other stuff as well there was some he-man stuff uh there was some uh them oh, them is it match attacks things i think Thu was on about them on his latest 10 bots 10 shots video there was some of those in there as well as well as like robocop figures and go bots and all that kind of stuff and even if you go in that shop and don't buy anything it's worth going and have a look. Um, it was really, really cool. I'll put a link in the in the um, description below because they, the guys on there do some videos and uh, it'd be great uh, if people want to go and just have a look really and maybe help them out a little bit. Fortunately, I didn't know because there was nothing in there I fancied. But Graham, being the generous fellow that he is, he did pick me up a birthday present and it was one I was really not expecting and is a bot that actually I forgot was was coming out um, and when I opened it up I, I could see it was a, a Legends figure and I thought oh okay um, I opened it up I looked at the artwork and thought oh I don't recognise this and it was actually uh, Power of the Primes Outback uh, now before we get into the figure let's have a look at the packaging so uh, this is the artwork that I spotted uh, when I was opening my little present and uh, I didn't recognise who it was uh, it was only when I saw the figure in the packet it, the penny actually dropped but it's some really cool artwork about back there uh, on the back you can see uh, he's got his little bio and you can see his alt mode and you can transform in seven steps and put uh, a power master inside there uh, sorry um, prime master inside there um, and it talks about uh, Quintus Prime merging with him 
Cedar of Life, well, whatever. Um, I don't know who that is. I don't know um, if he's one that's already been released. I'm not up to date on the new Mini Pretender Prime Master names. But yeah, um, cool piece of artwork. He obviously does come with his instructions as well, which are pretty generic. And he does come with a collector's card. Now, myself and James uh, have a birthday pretty close together within a month of each other. And uh, Graham being the generous guy that he is, he bought James as a present as well. And he also got an Outback. Um, so he actually ended up giving me his collector's card. So I've actually got two of them, um, which is quite cool. So my one was uh, Solus Outback. Uh, forges of wheels, an indestructible battering ram. And uh, Nexus Outback forms a heroic, rule-wrecking, vigilante combiner. So they're quite cool. I I'm a fan of the cards. I do like them. And I might actually do a video on all the cards I've got since Combiner Wars, if, if that would interest you. Um, but let's dive into the figure. Um, so he is essentially Brawn um, retooled. Actually, let's get Brawn, shall we? So, as you can see, uh, Brawn and Outback are essentially the same Transformer, uh, basically with different paint jobs and head sculpts. Um, I do prefer Outback's head sculpt, though. I think that is a stunning, stunning head sculpt. I really like it. Um, Differences-wise, um, it is mainly paint. Uh, there is this tapograph detail here which is different on Outback there's an Autobot logo there and a bit more detail in there but actually Outback has his Autobot logo on his leg there um, articulation wise his head can move and it can do a full 360 which is quite cool arms can do a full 360 and they're on a ball peg same as the elbows can bend 90 degrees and also got a bit of swivel but no movement in the wrists you've got no uh, waist swivel you can do almost a full down van damme i think that's good enough for the full van damme you've got a thigh swivel you've also got a bend at the knee but no foot articulation now light brawny is slightly parts for me maybe um, because this little shield or, or weapon that he can hold in his hand or, or like so or plug in his arm uh, is a detachable piece um, would I have preferred his standard cannon yes I would have done that I hope a third party company will will do that the port's there on the arm so maybe we can get a little cannon and also on the alt mode speaking of alt mode let's transform him up so what you want to do is you want to swivel these arms inwards you can rotate his head round, but I'm not going to bother. And all you do is you rock these shoulders up and clip those in on both sides. You tap these legs together, like so, fold round, and just push them together. And for a little guy, he holds together okay. You can put a, a Titan Master inside, which, or a Prime Master inside, which is pretty cool. And you can also take his weapon, and you have a choice here. You can actually plug it in on the top, which I think works really well for Outback. Or you can clip it into the back there, like so. Personally, um, I'm not going to be displaying him in this mode anyway. I'm going to be displaying him in, in robot mode. But I think for Outback, I think that look works better. don't know if you agree or not. Um... But you've got some nice detailing at the front of the car. The wheels do roll, as you can see. Uh, it would have been nice to have a bit of paint detail on the wheels, but we have got some paint details here and also on the silver and the brown. Um, I think that's actually plastic, but you've got some silver paint there anyway. So that is Little Outback, and I think it is a great, great little toy. Um, these legends have been so much, so much better than, than anything else that, the power of the primes and even going back to titan uh titan's return some of the legends in there were fantastic especially the later ones with sea spray and really power of the primes have been knocking it out in the, uh, the park the deluxes mm, haven't been the best 
The Voyagers have been the worst of the bunch to me, and the leaders have been surprisingly good. I've got Rodimus and I've got Optimus, and I'm really pleased with those, even though uh, Optimus is all marriage trash. Um, but it's the legends, every single one of them, apart from Slash, uh, I think knock it out of the park. Um, it's a high recommend from me. It's a massive thank you for Graham for adding this little guy to my collection. Uh, and I've been Zork Rider. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little review, and I'll catch you again soon.